Oh, Gidoki, welcome to my channel. I am going to explain which side is bank one and which side is bank two when it comes to replacing things such as O2 sensors and other sensors on engines. Okay, mine actually right now has a bad O2 sensor in bank two, sensor one. Well, how do we know which sensor is bank two, sensor one? Bank one will always be on the side of the engine that your number one cylinder is on. Okay, I can look on my wires, number one, okay, and I can see that my number one uh, wire is going to the left side of my engine, okay? So, I'll say it again, bank one will always be on the side of your engine that your number one cylinder is on. So, you can either look on your wires and you're, maybe you're lucky on your spark plug wires and maybe you're lucky that they're labeled one or maybe on your vehicle they're labeled somewhere else. But, as long as you know what side of your engine cylinder one is on, you know what side of your engine bank one is on. Okay. So that means bank two, where's bank two? If, if, if bank one is on this side, where's bank two? Bank two is on that side, that's right. This is a V6. 1999 Nissan Pathfinder 3.3 liter V6 is what this is. Okay, and uh, this bank one, bank two stuff is going to be pretty... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? It's going to be probably on most vehicles are going to be like this. I guess is what I'm trying to say. But again, as long as you know what side of your engine your number one cylinder is on, you'll know where bank one is on. Okay, so my so bank one's on the left as you're looking at the engine, and bank two is on the right here. So uh, my sensor my code was um bank two sensor one and uh, it said no activity which means my bank two sensor one o2 sensor is crap doubt so okay now we know how to find bank one and bank two well how do we find sensor one or sensor two sensor three most vehicles have four, five, maybe even six on your bigger V8s, O2 sensors. Mine has four. Okay, number one always starts on, number one is always gonna be the sensor that is closest to your air intake. Okay, so, and we could also say, number one starts at the front of the vehicle. Okay, so I'd have sensor number one in my exhaust and sensor number two in my exhaust. And sensor number two is either going to be in your catalytic converter or behind your catalytic converters, okay? And then some vehicles even have more uh, sensors, like I said. So, say we had a bad sensor in bank one, sensor two. So bank one would be my left side of my engine because that's the side of the engine my number one cylinder is on. And uh, sen sensor two would be the second sensor from the front of the vehicle or from the air intake. That's how you know where sensors one, two, and so on are at. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to explain that. And I hope this helps somebody. If it helps you, please comment below and subscribe. I'm trying to get a a channel and some viewers going i don't know why but i, I guess just for the hell of it but all right thanks peeps